My name is Dave Melker, and I'm here to share some information with you about Porsche Concours, specifically the Concours run by the Northeast region of PCA, Porsche Club of America. I've been doing concourse basically since I joined PCA in 1973, and there are a lot of activities to be involved in. Concourse just happens to be one of them as a way to enjoy our cars and to socialize, enjoy the people that are in PCA. Northeast region holds one annual concourse, typically in the fall, and the concourse is basically just a car show. And it's an opportunity for us to get together with other region members, share our cars with them, display our car, clean it, get it in the kind of condition it was when it was delivered to us or we purchased it. And it's a activity that I've enjoyed for the years that I, I've been doing it. I've done concours at the regional level, I've done it at the Porsche Parade national level. And my goal has always been just to participate. I never entered a concours to win. And if I placed or won my class, then that was just an added benefit. And we have two types of categories within our concours. We have the full concours and we have works. Now I'll talk about the full category and then Lee Hauer will follow me and talk about the works category. In full category, it's an objective scored concours competition that uses objective numerical score sheets. There are four sheets uh, representing the exterior, interior, engine, and wheel wells, and storage areas of the Porsche. Judging is based on the preparation of the car. It's not based on originality. So any modifications to the car are acceptable, and points are not taken off for non-original parts or radios or wheels or anything like that. If the person had the base sports car or four-door Porsche uh, and prepared it extremely well, then they can be very competitive and potentially place first place, depending on how they've prepared their vehicle. So it doesn't matter what color it is, doesn't matter what the price was, doesn't matter how long the car has been known, strictly based on how well it is prepared. And by prepared, we mean how clean it is, and whether there are any chips or blemishes that may have needed to be touched up or, or fixed. There are approximately 13 classes that are used in the Concours, depending on the vintage and the type of Porsche. The vintage of the Porsche also determines whether the engine compartment is visible or not. The earlier cars, it typically was. In the later cars, particularly in 911s, uh, starting with the 991s, the engine compartment was not visible and therefore could not be uh, inspected and scored. However, in that category, the wheels and wheel wells can be scored, and in those cases, the maximum score that would normally be 300 points that could be attained is 250 points. The amount of time that the owner has to prepare it, depending on their work, family considerations, obviously de determines then how much time they have to put in it. And all we can do is the best that we can with regard to how we're preparing the, the car. No car, no Porsche is gonna show up and be a perfect, typically a perfect 300 score car. Now we're fortunate to have one of Lee's cars, this 77 930 as, as a backdrop to, to point out a few things. So let me talk about a couple of things with regard to each of the four categories. And then I'll end with talking a little bit about what to do once you get to the Concours field and you're about to have your car judged. So as I mentioned, there are four categories. The exterior would be the first that we could talk about. And typically you'd want to wash the car, wax and polish it as necessary, treat the rubber. So a judge, the four judges that are going to be inspecting the car that each have an area 
will have five minutes in which to inspect the car and determine whether there should be any point deductions. The minimum point deduction if there's dirt or a blemish found is a half a point. The maximum deduction for one item is one point. So if, for instance, as has happened to me in the past, there was a bug that showed up on my front bumper that I didn't realize was there by the, when I was driving from my home to the concourse site, and that was a half a point deduction. The judges will have, before they start their five minutes, they'll have a minute or two to walk around the car just to get a general sense of the car before they start their judging. And typically they will have picked out maybe four or five specific areas that they know participants will overlook in their preparation of the car. So the main areas that people might look for, the overall surface of the car is generally easy for everyone to do, but in case there might be some leftover wax residue or some, some rubber treatment that wasn't removed from the adjoining paint, that that could be a deduction. You get to the interior, obviously the interior needs to be vacuumed, needs to be wiped down. You have to be careful that there isn't any residue from whatever the treatment is that you use on the vinyl or the leather. One Concours I was in, I was deducted points because the judge thought that there was some residue that was still left on the seats from treatment. The folds between the seat stitching, depending on the type of seat it is, can hold dust and dirt and is, are generally can be overlooked when you're cleaning the car. Now we move to the engine. The engine compartment is probably the, the most challenging area that you'll have to properly prepare. There are, it seems, an infinite number of crevices and areas that can be dirty given what an engine does and the access to it. Again, all you can do is prepare it as well as you can. A judge can reach into any area with his hands that is possible. And if the judge finds dirt or sees a chip on some metal that may have been painted previously, that that's a potential deduction. We just try to prepare it as best you can. When I wash my Porsche, I tend to wash the engine compartment at the same time, and that does keep down uh, the amount of preparation that's necessary when I'm getting re ready for the Concours every year. The areas on the sheet that include the engine also include the wheels and wheel wells. Again, as far in as a judge can reach is fair game. So typically when I prepare my Porsche, my 911 for the Concours, I take off the wheels and thoroughly clean the wheel wells, uh, the wheels inside and out, uh, in order to make sure that I've gotten all of the dust, all of the brake dust that I possibly can. The last area, the storage area, again, should be vacuumed. And in those cars where there are plastic covers, such as 996, 997s, uh, those covers should also be opened and inspected and the areas underneath cleaned. The battery compartment is hidden by a plastic cover on all of the later 911s, and the, the battery compartment is fair game. Getting to the concourse site, the first thing you'll encounter will be registration. And at registration, you'll verify your, your previous uh, signing up for the concourse. You'll pick up your score sheets and you'll be directed to your parking location in your class. Once you get there, you'll have enough room to be able to open all of the doors and facilitate final preparation of the car and judging. And there'll be a time once judging starts in the morning or in the afternoon where everyone will have to stop preparing their car. So you have time before that point where you can do some finalizing of the preparation. So that what you may have gained in dust or dirt or grass from the time that you left your home or motel until you got to the concourse site, you can now use time to do a quick detail of the exterior. You can check the interior and make sure that you didn't bring in some dirt in the process of driving it to the concourse site. You can double check your wheels just to make sure that they haven't accumulated any excess dust and just do a quick look at all of your areas. Having some masking tape sometimes is a good way to pick up some things that may have come on the bottom of your shoes in the, on the carpets when you've made that journey to the concourse location. 
Hi, I'm Lee Hauer. I've been a member of the PCA now for a bit over a decade, uh, and I'm going to tell you a little bit today about work style judging, which is one element or a, a different kind of style of judging that we also include as part of our PCA Northeast Region Concours. I actually first participated in, a, in any kind of Concours uh, with this, this 1977-930 here uh, in our PCA Region Concours that uh, took place in 2013. So. Uh, it's exciting to now see uh, all the different other participants that we've, we've had over the years. The work style judging is actually a form of judging which is a little bit different than the traditional full concourse judging that we use here in our regional concourse as well as uh, at, at PCA Parade. The work style judging uh, began about eight years ago in Monterey uh, at a PCA national level event there uh, during the Pebble Beach Car Week and it's been extended to the Amelia Island concourse as well about five years ago. Work style judging is different than the traditional full concourse judging in a couple different ways. First of all, it's a little bit more subjective than the full concourse judging. And it's also more qualitative in nature rather than quantitative in nature. There isn't a numerical score for each different category uh, like there is where you have a total of 300 points uh, in, in the traditional full concourse judging. The intention for work style judging is a, a, a different style of judging that is still uh, people prepare their cars quite seriously but it is a little bit more relaxed and it is a little bit more qualitative overall. There are four main things that we think about as judges when we're taking a look at work style cars. The first is, what's the judging team's overall impression of the car? Step back, take a look at it. Does it seem like a, an interesting car or a desirable car? Uh, is, it a, is it a pretty car? Um, all of those factors. The second thing is, what is the story of the car? That's something that we don't take into account, obviously, in, in full concourse judging, but it's an important part of the works judging, where we want to know, how is the car used? Does, has the owner used it as a daily driver or in autocross or uh, you know, just for special drives? Has the car, what's the car's ownership history? Um, has the, or is this still a car that's with its original owner or has it been in someone's family for a long time? Does the have, car have some other unique story about it in terms of the life of the car and what it's experienced over, over the many years? Um, so story is an, an important part of that work style judging uh, and, and one of the categories that we look at. The third thing that we start to look at is how well is the car actually presented? Um, as we look at the car from, from 10 feet away, does it have you know, noticeable flaws or is it overall pr presented very well? And then the last thing is, again, work style judging, the, the entrance should still prepare their cars. You should clean your car, you should detail your car, you should remove your personal items from the car. But the work style judging doesn't involve going inside the wheel wells or going inside the engine compartments or other, other spaces. We want cars to be clean and well detailed and well prepared, but uh, the, the, the level of preparation and the different criteria for judging is different. But we do look at how well the, the car has been cleaned uh, and, did, and did the entrant put some time and energy into what they're doing. So those are the four main things that we look at. Um, you can see the example score sheet of how we think about scoring the work style cars. Again, there's no 300 point score or anything like that, but we do take into account the history of the car, the story of the car, how well it's presented, the interior and the exterior. Many of the other aspects of work style judging are the same. If you, uh, if you participate in, in the work style, you, you enter your car, uh, when you arrive at the Concours, you go through registration, you'll be grouped into classes just like the full judged cars based on the era of your car, the generation of your car. Um, but work style cars are judged separately from the full concourse uh, judged cars. Thanks very much. I uh, hope many of you will consider participating in the work style judging uh, and the work style uh, part of the Concours for this year's Northeast Region Concours. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you've gained some insight with the information. The Porsche Club is all volunteer. Everybody that works in the club is a volunteer. We rely upon volunteers, particularly at the Concours and for judging. So there is another video that talks about judging that I would recommend. And no one should feel intimidated again because of their car or their preparation to enter the concours and you learn every concours that you're in thanks for watching